We are here at the state capitol, specifically State Representative Garnet Coleman's office, Democrat out of Houston, chair of the County Affairs Committee in the House. You guys held several interim hearings following uh, the death of uh, Sandra Bland uh, down uh, south in, in jail there in Waller County. Uh, today, you're filing the Sandra Bland Act, uh, HB 2702. Give us the highlights. It's a pretty comprehensive bill. Yes, it is. It encompasses the policy that is required to do something about our criminal justice system and how it affects certain individuals. Sandra Bland's death and the actions that led up to her death and things that have come around that or that surround her death are really the principles of what's wrong with the criminal justice system and why we need criminal justice reform. Number one, she was pulled over for not putting on her signal. In police terms, that's called an investigative stop or a pretext stop. And it's usually a minor traffic violation, but it's used to do further inquiry into uh, a system that, uh, into circumstances that may be uh, criminal. So that's the first part of her stop. Uh, it escalated, uh, and it was escalated by the trooper, and the trooper, uh, instead of using what we call just standard de-escalation tactics used by police forces like the, uh, the Dallas uh, police force, actually made it more of a, 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 a circumstance of, of, of concern, which ended up in her arrest. She's arrested, uh, uh, the, the jail uh, did not comply with the, the types of checks you're supposed to do on someone that showed that she had emotional issues and she ended up committing suicide. Uh, that's something that happens far too often in, in our jails. Uh, so we're concerned about what happens to people with mental illness and, and so in this act we have look at diverting people from ever being booked in jail through community collaboratives and uh, restoration centers around the state uh, so that we don't have people in jail who don't need to be there. Also we have people already on medication already are disabled because of their mental illness and instead of uh, suspending their uh, Medicaid benefits that come with that designation, uh, those individuals lose their benefits and it sometimes take a year, takes a year for them to be determined disabled because of their mental illness again. These are very, very uh, comprehensive areas of policy that deal with uh, people who, would, who could turn out to be in Sandra Bland's circumstance. Chairman, so many facets to this bill. Why make it all in one? Do you not think that you'd have a better chance passing you know, this part or not as individual bills? Well, first of all, I think that what's good in terms of or what's the appropriate uh, direction to go on criminal justice reform should all be in one place, should all be in one act, so that everybody can see what the best practices are from around this country and what we found in our hearings uh, around the state as the County Affairs Committee needs to be fixed or needs to be repaired in our system in order to be, for it to be fair to everybody. That's why you put it in one place. That's why it's called the Sandra Bland Act. Now there will be other bills that deal with individual aspects of this. Some of them are in the mental health bills by Fort Price. Some of, it's, uh, are, some of the policies are in bills by uh, Connie Burton and James White. Uh, but there needs to be one place where people can see that if we do these things, uh, then we can stop uh, unjust actions that occur because of the system that's in place now. Some uh, sheriffs in smaller departments, rural areas, jails, have uh, voiced concern that this is an unfunded mandate and that they won't have the funds to be able to implement some of the things in your I bill. How they can say it's an unfunded mandate when we've said over and over again and in the bill that there will be grants uh, put together in order for uh, jails to meet the standards of the act. I've been working with all of the community, uh, the, the county as uh, associations to do that. Look, I understand what it's like to be from a place with little resources. Uh, the inner city that I serve doesn't have enough resources and I know that the counties around the state don't have enough resources. But to be able to, to, be able to say that something actually is an unfunded mandate without going through the process I think is premature. Well, we will be following HB 2702. Representative Garnet Coleman, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm Alana Rocha reporting at the State Capitol.